First, let's go over this Ryobi HP Brushless Hammer Drill. Model number for this is PBLHM101. First speed is 500 RPM and second speed is 2100 RPM. The hammer feature has 31,000 beats per minute. This does have a 22 point clutch. This does have a fully metal half inch truck with a metal housing. And this is actually a fantastic tool. Ryobi has my favorite handle design and comfort when it comes to holding their tools. The hammer feature is fantastic. It's able to do half inch holes through concrete, eight inch timber locks. It's able to do four inch lags. It does have a nice robust handle if you compare it to the previous model, which was pretty much a, a, a screw. This actually is a fantastic tool. I love the green and black. I've tested this out in many videos and it is a good one. All right, let's talk about these Husky screwdrivers. Now, this was a kit years ago that I bought from uh, the Home Depot uh, during the Black Friday sale. You know, it was like $20 for a 20 something piece kit or 18 piece kit. I forgot what it was back then, but throughout the years I have majorly abused these. It is actually completely missing the head of the screwdriver. And this was the most used one that I used as a chisel. I did, so if you guys were looking for screwdrivers, uh, you could get Husky, it'll serve you the purpose. But if you actually plan on using these, uh, they will break on you. Just to, just to let you know. So let's go over this Hilti 12 volt multi head drill driver. It goes up to 1600 RPM. This is a part of Hilti's 12 volt system. Oh, Hilti sent me this over two years ago. And I honestly, I, I only use this when the circumstances uh, needed me to. I did a few shorts on it. I was doing some plumbing work and I actually needed to use this for a couple of things. And the attachments majorly helped out and it also has a quarter inch hex in there that's magnetic could lift it up by itself even with the battery in there it is a very powerful magnet dual led lights on the base this actually has a nice half inch fully metal chuck 15 point clutch plus one which the plus one is drill if you need the extra space and you got to get really close to the edge of a piece of wood this actually does the trick i thank you hilti for sending me this they sent me this over two years ago, and there you go. All right, so let's go over these Duralast ratcheting wrenches. I stopped using these years ago because the important sizes that I needed were actually gone and just missing. You could actually just flip the, the trigger and you can go both ways with that. You don't, do not have to rotate these and turn them around. They do have an angle, so you could get that little a little extra space if you need to. There you go. Duralast actually uh, did the trick. Now, when it comes to this blower, I really love how this blower is. This blower is a fantastic tool to have. It is not expensive, it's really cheap, and this is actually a good one to keep in your arsenal. And so when it comes to this blower, the model number for this is P738. This is an awesome mamma jamma. It comes with a couple of attachments and you could actually inflate whatever you need to when it comes to uh, air mattresses, like an inflatable pool, which is what I actually did this video on. But one thing that I did have an issue with throughout the years and using many different batteries with this, it does not like the new batteries. It doesn't even like the older version of the HP batteries. Back in the day, the three amp hour HP battery used to be the go-to for a lot of Ryobi tools. So throughout the years of actually uh, using this tool, I found out that this tool only likes the older style regular lithium plus batteries. The main thing I actually use this for is to clear off wood out of my work area. And this actually is the exact same unit that I unboxed years ago. Brunt got a hold of me a little while ago. They sent me this and I actually tried these on. They fit perfectly. I love these, they're steel toe. And I will be wearing these at work once in a while to see how they are during a 12 hour shift to see if they actually stay comfortable all day. These are the Ring Low Comp Toe Boots. $119 for these, dude, that's actually not bad. We are gonna do a video on these uh, in the future. These are not gonna be looking brand new when that comes out. And yeah, I love the treads on these. This is not a shoe box, it's a toolbox.
bam more details of these boots are going to come in the future as well i just wanted to thank brunt for sending me these uh to uh test out we'll see how these are all right so let's talk over milwaukee holdozers milwaukee's holdozers are actually very reliable they have many many sales throughout the year they also have holdozers in pack out Packout has uh, everything nice and snug in styrofoam if you want to uh, keep your uh, holdozers organized. This specific unit actually has some augers in there. You're able to uh, store a certain amount of actual uh, saws. All you got to do is buy one, one set and you're good for a very long time. They're good to go, you guys. They really are. All right, let's talk about this Ryobi hammer. Now this is a 16 ounce hammer, I believe. This Ryobi hammer, as you can see, has been through a major ordeal throughout the years. I use this to bang on stuff, especially if I'm banging on a ratcheting wrench or even a socket wrench, uh, just to get that extra kick when I work on the vehicles. It does have a magnetic strip on there, so you could actually just have that sitting on there without holding your nail there. But let's test that out really quick. Let's see if this is actually useful. All right, so let's put a dot right there. See if I could actually get that. Dang. Done. If you guys didn't know that Ryobi actually made hammers, there you go. And why aren't they selling these at Home Depot is beyond me, you guys. I just want to let you guys know that I actually turned my shorts into versus videos. I figured out a, a way to get this done efficiently and where I could upload versus videos left and right. So I thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys on the next one.